Many of the calculator companies printed useful tables. Here is one by Felton Tarrant. They were probably the first to do it so, so extensively, this printing of these tables. And uh, yeah, this one is for uh, the parts of a year for each day. So you can read off, for example, that uh, July the 2nd is the middle day of the year. It's day 183, and there are 182 year, uh, days still to go in the year. And here's the fraction of that year that's passed at the end of that day. And uh, yeah, th here's another table. This one is by Burroughs, the Burroughs Calculator Service. And it shows pins as decimals of a pound. The, uh, it was by the Burroughs Adding Machine Limited, the British branch of the company. Here's, here's another set of tables. This is a, a book of tables. So it has... Uh, yeah, it has a list of tables for money, for um, weights, for, for times, and even timber calculations. There's uh, yeah, lots of uh, useful tables in there. Here's one by the uh, Sumlock Comptometer Limited. So it has the same kinds of tables as the other one. But the most interesting table I have is this one, also by Sumlock. But at this time it was the London Computator Limited, a uh, subsidiary of Bell Punch. So that means it's this is from the 1940s. And yeah, it also does shillings and pence and farthings as decimals of a pound. And uh, yeah, here, here you have even numbers of shillings and you can rotate the disc behind it to choose the number of pence you want to go with it. For example, now we have uh, zero shillings and six pence, and here you can read off that it's 0 0.025 of a pound, a fortieth of a pound. That's because there are 12 pence in a shilling and 20 shillings in a pound, so it's 240 pence in a pound. And yeah, so you can uh, read off the even numbers of shillings here, and the odd numbers of shillings on this side. And uh, yeah, it's very it's a very clever uh, device. The uh, the numbers uh, that appear here on the rear disc are covered up by the this bar, this post between the numbers here, and vice versa. The, these numbers are covered up on this side by this bar. So that way, there are essentially two tables in one on one disc. There's a, a patent, a provisional patent number here, but I haven't been able to uh, to match that to a real patent, so I don't know who the inventor is of this machine, this device. Thank you for watching.